Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. It's uh, week 11, 17th November, Sunday. We'll run through this quick. I got a few player props uh, in case you guys want to take a look at it. I don't really have time to uh, jump into all of this. Get right into the prop. Juno Smith. Uh, definitely not touchdown. Sorry. I don't know what happened. Reception yards over 31 and a half. I dropped these plays in the community last night. Lines might be a little different right now. 29 and a half. Get it on FanDuel. Minus 110. A little discrepancy. 45. Uh, four out of the last five. We got two are back. Playing Vegas, uh, Vegas all around. Both teams low scoring uh, to the tight end position, right? 27th in receiving yards. Both teams low scoring. Both teams, uh, well, Vegas really bad against the run. Uh, multitude of ways you can play this game. Uh, I just decided to go with uh, Smith. He's been getting some action this last couple of weeks. Definitely plenty of targets, plenty of receptions. Uh, succeeded 31 and a half in four of his last five, averaging 53. Two, three, third on the uh, targets list with 44, 16% of targets. Uh, Miami's playing at home. Weather should be nice. Last week it was raining and stuff. But uh, yeah, I just look for him to have a decent game. Let's get it, Juno Smith. Uh, use a bunch of different sites, but uh, basically it's how you read it. Baltimore versus Pittsburgh. So it'll be Baltimore. This is overall points per game. They scored 31, ranked first. And this is what Pittsburgh defense has given up. They're ranked second, giving up only 16 points. The game's probably going to go towards the under. And then over here would be Pittsburgh's offense. Ranked 12th, getting 23 points. And then Baltimore's defense, ranked 25th, giving up 25 points. You know, I mean, both teams bad on the, uh, I might as well do it. Russian yards per game, Baltimore offense, ranked number one. Pitt's defense for rushing is ranked number four, giving up 87. Pittsburgh ranked number eighth for offense and rushing. 138 yards, and uh, Baltimore ranked number one. Great rushing offense and defense. Passing, ranked number three. Baltimore's offense, 257 yards. Pitts D, ranked 19th, giving up 215. And Pitts offense, ranked 26, getting 188 yards. That number has been slowly climbing, uh, going down, I guess you should say, since our uh, Russell Wilson came in. Baltimore's D, we already know they bad on receiving yards. Last place. They go over to kickers. Uh, turnovers. And then uh, penalties. And player props, you got to be careful. Teams that get a lot of penalties, I say this every week, end up fucking us on our, on our, on our props. You know, guys look at it, go over it, be a holding call. A lot of plays this year. Uh, big one is uh, uh, man downfield. That's not supposed to be like a run play option. Uh, as well as uh, the guy's not set in motion, illegal formation, time of possession. But uh, yeah, so next play, Najee Harris. No. Warren, uh, he's not ruled out, but he's questionable. Back injury, he's been dealing with that a while. He's usually the receiving back out of the two. Uh, 
Uh, let's see what they say. See him on there. Maybe they rolled him in. But uh, Harris been running real hard this year, real good. Baltimore overall. I won't receive receptions over one man. Overall, last place to the running back position, ranked 25th, giving them five receptions a game. Teams that are good against the run on defense, stopping the run, which Baltimore is, you know, an extension of the run would be them screen plays, check down, stuff like that. So uh, that's the reason why I went with it. They got his yards real low, too. But a lot of times with these screen plays, you know, they get stuffed at the line negative yards uh i decided to just go with the two receptions he's exceeded one and a half eight of his last 10 games at home averaging two and a half uh where they got his yards at yeah eight and a half i mean you could do either or i just feel like he's been going over that as well but i just went with the receptions for that reason so Nigel. Receiving yards allowed to the running back. They're ranked 25th. Uh, teams that are good against the run, just like I said before, extension of the run game is the screen game, pass game. Uh, you know, Henry will usually get like one reception a game. That's always a good play. I play that too. But uh, Hill's usually the receiving back. He didn't go over this last week. But definitely capable of doing it. Um He's got really good hands. He's only missed like three passes the whole year. So uh, hopefully he'll get his opportunities. He's uh, one, two, three, fifth on the list in receptions with 30 for the year. You know, he gets like two, two, three chances a game. Depends. Um, I think it should be a pretty tight game. They might. They got his rushing yards at six and a half. That could be a good play too. But uh, I just decided to go with receiving yards. A little speedy back, some power to. Uh, I, I think you should be able to go over this. Just as hell, let's get it. Receiving yards, 33 and a half. Line did go down a little bit. You get a 32, I think, on Bet MGM. Start at 35. Pittsburgh to the wide receiver, ranked 24th. Uh, receiving yards alone, ranked 23rd, giving up 230. Uh, cleared this was 6 out of 10. Laid off him last game because the game before he dropped a game winning uh, a big catch. The sun was in his face. So I thought he'd be in the doghouse, but they still utilized him. Uh, plenty of receptions, plenty of targets. He's. Uh, Second on the on the team in targets, forty seven. Uh, capable of catching deep ball. Fifteen, fifteen, twenty eight, fifty nine. Basically averaging what uh, twenty yard long reception. So uh, two catches. He capable of going over this. Sharp Bateman. Let's get it. This is more of a gut feeling play. Marquez, uh, Valdez, Scanlon, first quarter receiving yards. They got it at a half. So, all you got to do is get one catch. Cleveland overall ranked 15th to our uh, wide receiver ranked 26th. He just got traded to the Saints. Uh, he hasn't went over this. But last game, he had, I think, over 100 yards receiving. So he could possibly play his full game as well. I just like to pass money with him. This was his first game on the team. Second game. 
uh, for probably first full week of practice. Now he's had two weeks. Uh, I think, you know, they're going to run up a play for him somewhere. I think it's going to happen fast, especially with such a good game last game. Three receptions, three targets. Every time they throw on the ball, he's caught it so far. So I'm looking for him to get more active. Should uh, it's got feeling like I said, let's get it. One catch we need. I'll just keep you guys in the loop. Keep it as transparent as possible. If you got any extra time, if you could leave a comment, likes and comments help get the videos out there. As well as uh, been YouTube in a couple months, I'm new to this, so uh, I don't get paid for it. The comments, it's like interaction. Uh, makes it feel like worth it, you know. But uh, I appreciate everyone. Let's get it. Jacksonville at Detroit. Big spread, 14. Detroit, big, uh, excuse me, big total, 47 and a half. Uh, just show the screen. It's late. Games are fucking starting. I'm sorry. I did drop all these plays in the community last night. Uh, that's why you got to subscribe. Get a head start. Sometimes I don't get a chance to get the videos out. As well as, you know, I'm a sports better, so I'm doing the research. Things change up until the end. Come on, load. Bro. All right, my first play, uh, Jared Goff. I don't know what I just did. I hit a button. Passing touchdowns over one and a half. Come on. Towards the end of the video, starts running slow. Uh, clear this plenty of times. What's this? Three, four, five, six out of the last seven. Should be a blowout. Uh, you know, I'm expecting definitely two passing touchdowns. He's exceeded one and a half, six of his last seven, averaging 2.1. Uh, they're playing at home. Should be easy going. Let's get it. All right, last up, Jamari Gibbs receiving yards over 16 and a half, uh, 17 and a half, wherever you can get it, obviously get the lowest. Definitely, uh, it's great back, you know, anytime touchdown, go for him, it's highly juiced. Uh, maybe uh, do a little parlay with him and a few others. Um, clear the six out of 10. Decent amount of receptions, targets. Exceeded 18 and a half, five is last six. Playing Jacksonville. Uh, overall, 30th receiving yards to the running back position, ranked 29th. It's kind of weird that this number is this low. Maybe it's a little trap. Uh, I think you should be able to go over it though. Uh, Look for his rushing yards. Um, St. Brown, anytime touchdown. There's a million plays you can get. Uh, games are starting right now. Sorry. If you could like the video, subscribe so you get all my plays. Uh, I do drop them in the community and try to keep you informed. Uh, I will have other plays for later. So just keep an eye out for them and the live bets. I uh, appreciate every single one of you. Ace Money's name, get paid for the game. Let's go. Go Bills!